Frank, Elgin, Kalilov, and Ford Damirov, and Vera Brandes, and Dieter Broes. Get up, please. Or I wouldn't be here. The slides I present are the work of Professor Cornelis. At the first slide is by Dr. Yoshihiko Watanabe, who happened to monitor 13 patients every half hour for days before, during, and after the Sendai magnitude 9 earthquake. Yoshiko, get up. You see, as he will discuss with you, that there is an increase in blood pressure for several days before the earthquake. So, if I am to simply say what I wish in one sentence, if instead of 13 patients in Tokyo, we could monitor everybody around the world, we might learn more about earthquakes. Why did Yoshihiko monitor? We all know that the high blood pressure isn't desirable. But there are variability disorders that are associated with a much bigger risk than a high blood pressure. In red and above, you see an excessive swing. That swing simply indicates that the risk of a stroke in six years has doubled as compared to high blood pressure. This is myself. I have been monitoring my blood pressure for about 20 plus years with the most recent instrumentation, automatic. You see on top, recorded from satellites, along with frequency scale from 0.7 to two years in dark, an intense spectral component of 1.3 years. <coughs> and then the solar wind does us a big favor. It stops a 1.3 year frequency. With the leg of a 1.3 year, you see that my corresponding spectral component dampens, narrows, but persists. It's now embedded in my genes. What is this good for? You see the same 1.3 year frequency in 39 years of terrorism. On top, on the left, you see solar wind speed. In the middle, you see terrestrial magnetism, the antipodal index AA. And below, you see from the Memorial Institute for the Prevention of Terrorism, you see a similar dark component with statistical significance around 1.3 years. And on the right, you see that when the solar wind and AA accentuate their periodicity, there is a bout of terrorism. Not only the trans here, but the weak, the biologic weak responds to the cosmos. 
the cosmos does the replacement and the addition of spectral components. What I hope we can start was actually started for geomagnetism by Gauss, Humboldt, and Sabine. What they did was to record at different latitudes geomagnetism. Here we ask in blue on the left, how good is the relation between solar and terrestrial magnetism, which is pretty much accepted. We just make it, and it is our reference standard. On the right, in red, you see human mood recorded over 43 years, still being recorded, about six times each day. The number of shared frequencies between a human mental function, mood, one minute estimation, vigor rating, does better, more than matches the relation of terrestrial to solar magnetism. Human mood depends on geomagnetism. In green on the previous slide, you would have seen also that systolic blood pressure is a good approximation of mood and its relation to the cosmos. On the right is the slide I started with of Dr. Watanabe. On the left, there is a slide from Dean Wang from Chengdu of the magnitude 8 earthquake in China in 2008. Again, you see that his little mice anticipated the earthquake. These are not anecdotal data. These are hard data corrected around the clock. Below, on the left, you see a number of frequencies that you all and I share with the sun reflected in earthquakes. And on the right below, you see from human natality, the human baby being a good magnetometer, you see a number of other variables, lengths at birth, boys and girls in Moscow, and crime and terrorism. 2,556 years of international battles all carry the signature of the sun. This could all be coincidence, but when we have to remove and replace approach, then you can come to some causality. The newest is a new boy on the block. It is the moon. And we have enough evidence to suggest that the moon's double tidal period is built into at least one patient on whom we documented with many ratings, the 24.8, not the 24.0 period. And we found the 24.8 period and also periods pulled by the moon in that patient with depression. As you can see on the right, the moon is 24.8, the double tidal period. The Earth tides that can move a skyscraper by about 20 centimeters. They also move a human being. What should we do? We could have a website that automatically analyzes not only the data of Yoshiko Watanabe, not only the data of Dean Wong, but that are a complement 
to understanding earthquakes to physical monitoring. The data could be automatically analyzed and used at the same time to understand more about earthquakes. Thank you very much.